Well, as the calendar flips to August, it's time to get ready to head back to school. And with that comes a few things you'll want to keep in mind. The most importantly is road safety and school zones. These are our children. Let's make sure we slow it down. Everybody gets home safely. Summer's over and school is in session. There's going to be more people in the street, whether it's police officers or crossing guards directing traffic to the children themselves who are having to cross roads. Let's remember, we're going back to school. It's new. We have to pay attention. For Pleasant Grove Police Chief Danny Reed, there's an extra emphasis on school zone safety this year after a close call last year. Right toward the beginning of school, we had a child struck in the parking lot right outside the police department. Fortunately, the child was okay, but Reed says he doesn't want it to happen again. Um, we made different routing choices. Um, I've actually put a surveillance camera in. We've routed traffic. We've done a lot of things, and as a result, we've been We've been very safe since that occurred. But safety isn't limited to just the folks in Pleasant Grove. SaveKids.org reports that five teen pedestrians are killed in school zones every week and that the pedestrian death rate for 12 to 19 year olds has increased by 13% since 2013. Reed's message to drivers this school year, slow down and pay attention. Do me a favor, stay off the phones. Everybody's looking down at their phones. You're inching forward, you're not paying attention, you're bored, you're in car lines, you wanna pick up that phone, I know you do. Put it down. And Reed suggests going a few miles under the posted speed limit when you're in school zones just, just to be safe.